In the US, we seem to only talk about two political parties. Don't like taxes? Republican. Want more social programs? Democrat. But the fact is, there are a ton of political philosophies and affiliations out there. One of these is libertarianism, and it has grown increasingly popular over the past few elections. If you've never heard of it, that's fine. A recent poll found that even amongst self-described libertarians, nearly a quarter of them had no idea what the word meant. So what exactly is libertarianism? Well, the most well-known version is the one that grew out of the 1960s counterculture movement in the US. In short, the libertarian philosophy says that everybody should have absolute freedom to live their lives how they see fit, as long as they respect everybody else's right to do the same. This generally means that most libertarians advocate for minimalist government on the basis that it should have no say whatsoever in the decisions a person makes about his or her personal life. This is a pretty Republican-leaning ideal. At the same time, libertarians stress social freedoms like the right to gay marriage and abortion. In a nutshell, libertarianism appeals to people because it combines both political worlds. That may be why the Libertarian Party has been called the third largest party by both membership and popular vote in the US. But libertarianism is unique in its own way. It tends to support what is called a night watchman state, where the only function of a government is to protect its citizens from being injured or defrauded. Thus, government should only consist of a military, a police force, and a court system. Additionally, some libertarians think agencies like the FDA are intrusive because they try to regulate what you can and cannot ingest. Safety laws like seatbelt or helmet requirements are also considered to be violations of freedom. Libertarians also tend to lean towards drug legalization, getting rid of welfare, and supporting gun rights. However, some tenets of libertarianism have glaring problems in the real world. One real-world example of limited government and a free market occurred in post-communist Russia. Without government support, Russia's roads and banks collapsed, inflation skyrocketed, and many old and jobless people were left helpless. Libertarianism sounds like a good idea, but like a number of other political philosophies, it may be a bit too idealistic to actually work. Still, if lower taxes, legalized marijuana, and the freedom to do whatever you reasonably want sounds good in theory, it might just be the one for you. There's a fine line between libertarianism and anarchy in the world of political philosophy. To learn more about what anarchy is all about, take a look at our video here. Anarchy the heart of the punk movement in the 70s and 80s, a driving force for civil wars and violent revolutions, a concept held in esteem by activists like Leo Tolstoy, Noam Chomsky, and Mahatma Gandhi. So what is it? That video can also be found in the description below. Thanks for watching TestTube. Please subscribe for our latest.